berisik ke Semakin kejam cara ku pelan lembut Dan ku tak membantah hanya mengalah Ku disuruh coba ada pendirian sikit tak boleh ke Kau ni lelaki banyak songnya ya Tunggu kisah ke? Atau kau saja nak buru sangka? Yang buru sangka tu tolong simpan kata-kata sebelum terlebih berlanja Aku ahli perti yang pertama Tak salah dengarkan aku kata Tak salah yang aku pernah coba Yang pernah gagal berdiri semula Masa lalu Kelak kelir Semakin sempit In the hip hop scene I had My equipment it was all DIY Like um I bought mics from cash converters for like 4 bucks I had I used like golf sticks as um, you know the mic stands and all that kind of stuff. So when I when somebody uh, linked me up with Alfian on Facebook, I saw that he had his own DIY setup at home, and he reminded me a lot about how much I was passionate about you know uh, music and the length that I would go to to achieve. <laughs> there will be somebody to give him a proper place to uh, express his passion for uh, bar for barbering and because um, that's that was what I needed at that point in time in my life when I just started out music that was somebody that was who I needed to help me, to guide me uh, I wanted something for the community something for everybody uh, to embrace and to you know to patronize uh, therefore I called it neighborhood because it sounds most generic and I believe that every Singaporean can relate to a neighborhood um, be, be it if you're from the east side, from the west side, from the north Woodlands, Bedok, Simei, wherever um, you know what the neighborhood is so um, me naming it the neighborhood I can put it in the neighborhood for the people in the neighborhood and it's not going to end up um, just in the east side right here um, I plan to open like small little outlets of the neighborhood in different different neighborhoods around Singapore um, I linked up with Alfian. Actually, somebody linked me up to him on Facebook. Um, I was just, I just typed out a status saying, looking for somebody to join me on like a venture or some shit like that. And uh, he linked me up to Alfian, so I checked him out. And yeah, and I believe that through somebody who has a certain kind of hobby. If you're a skateboarder or if you're a musician or even if you're a violin, violinist If I meet just one, I, that can definitely lead me to more Like you can't ask a doctor if he knows a guitar player and find somebody As much as if you ask a guitar player, does he know any other guitar players So that was how I found the other barbers It was through my boy Afyan uh, we don't have a website right now. Uh, it's very, I don't know. I, if you ask me honestly, I prefer the human. I prefer human relations. That means I prefer um, the the traditional way of meeting people, of you know, letting people know that this shop exists. So initially, when we first opened the shop, also we did not um, do any like formal marketing or anything. We just um, help um, spread the word through word of mouth. And uh, you know, it has been looking good so far. But uh, online, you can find us on Instagram though. That's the least that we could do for you guys. Instagram um, at Neighborhood Barbershop. Hi, I'm Alfian here. Uh, I'm the head barber in Neighborhood Barbershop. I'm 23 years old this year. Um, actually, not yet 23 lah, coming 23 on November uh, I'm a barber here uh, we, uh, we do we do shave, we do, hack, we do different type of haircut Sini, uh, I start cutting hair when at the age 16 years old 16 years old is my first scissors that I hold to practice uh, And 17, when I reach 17 years old, I get my first customer which is my friends where I still remember that uh, I cut inside the toilet um, at the time I was in ITC me in cubicle yeah, it was messed up everywhere was hair yeah. uh, as soon as soon as I'm, I'm just taking this bubble thing actually at first I didn't take this seriously because this is just a hobby I did this as, as a hobby lah. okay uh, 
Well, I'm learning how to do, uh, how to cut hair to be a barber. I didn't expect this what I'm gonna do in the future. Uh, until one of my friend told me that, like, hey, my friend, you've been cutting hair a lot. You've been cutting hair a lot. Do you know this, this, uh, this barber thing that you love to do? You know, until until I sit down at home and sit down, just chilling at home, just um, think back again or something. Yeah, this is what I do. I like to make people look good. I like to make. No, people look fresh. I don't mind if I don't look fresh, <laughs> but uh, but main priority is where I make my customer happy. And once if they ha- if they are happy, you know, I'm also happy with. It. <laughs> um, over here, a lot of our, my customer ask for zero fade, uh, like zero fade, bald fade. Um, but most common people usually say like they want pompadour. Right? Um, but over here we. My haircut are mostly like high slow or low slow. I, mean, I don't, you know, I don't have that extra hair coming out where you can comb and everything. Uh, but mostly here is uh, like zero fear. Plan for it to be a place um, where you know boys and girls can grow up with, because all of us, um, I'm sure, have a place in our lives, a few places in our lives that we grew up that we grew up to, like. Uh, for example, for me, it's like Simpang Budo or it's Tampines One or there used to be a barber shop at Simpang Budo that I really love. We were very, very close with the Pachi and everything. Um, you know, uh, I grew up with like uh, um, CMK was at Simpang Budo. So like these kind of places, I want to create uh, a place like this, a place where uh, a guy that walks through these doors gets a haircut and he's like 14 years old and when he turns 25, 26, he still walks in here. And when he turns 35 with a son, he brings his son here.